What my clients love about my work is it's very textural, it's very light focused, it's very family friendly, it's classic and modern mixed together, it's sophisticated. Come in, put your feet up and easy to live in. We have a very calm, neutral, light palette that my clients are attracted to. At least the Sherry Interiors, it's all about the edit, the right amount, but not too much texture, bringing things in, taking things out. My name's Lisa Sherry, and I'm the founder and the principal designer at Lisa Sherry Interiors. My firm is based in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we are in Mooresville, North Carolina, which is Lake Norman. We are 30 minutes outside of Charlotte. It's a lake community. This happens to be my personal lake house and it's really my respite and my getaway, a real jumping off point for creativity and relaxing and getting away. I was just looking for houses that I could have a little creative lab for projects to be able to recreate a space. So I started looking on Lake Norman. This house was very 90s. It was very dark. It had uh, a lot of walls. And as soon as I walked in, I knew that if I took out walls that I could really make such a difference and have this great open, airy space. It was a total gut renovation. The first thing we did was we took down all the walls, removed all the flooring, took all the arches out of the windows, and all the trim came off. The biggest challenge was honestly just, you know, could I take this 1990s home and really create the vision that I had to make it modern and clean, lined, Water is really important to me and having a water view was really important. The second most important factor is I love natural light in all the homes that I design. It's key to the light bright factor and the neutral interiors. This is a getaway for me, but it's also a place that I love to entertain and have friends come and stay for the weekend, relax, kick back. Hi, welcome to my home. Come on in. This is the living room and my goal was to just be able to create this open airy space. And as you can see, there's so much natural light that comes in here. One of the things that I first do with my client homes are take down walls to let more light in. This set of doors here was a smaller set of doors with arched windows, which were very 90s. And I wanted to just uh, bring in these custom 10 foot doors and have them open up to the deck and to the lake beyond. There was a wall here that divided the kitchen to the living room that made the living room very small and just confined both the kitchen and the living room. So by taking the wall out, I integrated the kitchen and the cooking space to be able to entertain with the two rooms being cohesive, open together. I also replaced all the flooring by putting in 10 inch white oak wide plank floors, which updated the space. I love my new fireplace. When I purchased the home, it had its typical 1990s architecture, very traditional, almost colonial style surround. And I love now how I just created this box, this little eight inch lip here and had the whole thing plastered. So it just feels modern and clean. I love mixing textures. I don't like everything to be upholstered, so it was nice to be able to bring in a little bit of rattan, especially for our more casual homes that we design. And for me specifically, I found this at High Point Market at one of my little haunts that has great one-of-a-kind pieces. 
High Point is a wonderful place to go for all of your design needs for clients. It's an amazing market. High Point Market is the trade to the trade only, but it's also a great place for me to not only see my vendors that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis, but also to connect and meet new designers. I've gone to many other markets and I always come back to High Point as being the best. I love market as a whole, but the one part of market that I never want to miss are antiques and the vintage. I love this little alcove that I created. I had a space between the fireplace and the doors, and many times we'll put in built-in bookcases or shelving, but I wanted something that was almost like a little reading nook where you could curl up in, read a book, have a great view of the lake, and then rather than having a piece of art on the walls, I added this light, which is beautiful light when it's dimmed down at night. It's very soft and subtle. And during the day, it's like an architectural sculpture. I found these great pillows at one of my vendors at High Point Market in the vintage area. They're made from old truck tarps. So it's a beautiful patchwork, you know, layered texture that's so interesting. And I love how the seams are inside out. So we're going into the kitchen. I love this big 11 foot island. It's great for having extra space for cooking and prepping. I love the concrete countertop. It just has a great honed finish to it. One of my goals for this kitchen was to be able to cook and entertain at the same time and not feel ostracized from all of my friends that are hanging out. So this integration between the two rooms is really perfect. I love these bar stools that I found at High Point Market at Schwung and I just thought they were perfect for the space. I wanted something that would tuck in under the island that didn't have a back. It just kind of opens up the space by not having anything too large. One of my favorite things that I did in here, and it was a last minute decision, but I had this wall and it was only about 10 inches thick and I thought about putting art on it, but at the last minute I decided it would be great storage. I just love these director chairs. They're just such a classic chair and I found these in bamboo, so I like the texture and how it marries with the reclaimed wood of the table. So having integrated appliances isn't a new idea. I've got a pantry on this side, refrigerator on this side. So I took the size, the dimensions of the refrigerator, and then made this cabinet exactly the same. But creating the symmetry of these two pieces to look identical makes the refrigerator even less conspicuous. One of the best views of the lake is right here. It's just one of my favorite spots. I love this little alcove, the windows. It's such a great place to have an intimate dinner or tea in the morning. So this is kind of my fun little area here. I needed to keep this column. There was a wall here, there was a wall here, and I couldn't get rid of it. So I decided to just have a little fun. It's my Polaroid wall. And because I love to entertain here and it's all about having fun, having family and friends, every time someone comes, we take a Polaroid and then they get added to the wall. The old days. <laughs> I love collections of things and I found this old ladder and this holds like all my design magazines and my inspirations. So this is one of my very favorite finds. I got it at High Point Market at Schwung. When I saw it, I just absolutely fell in love with it. And as I started to style my home, I moved it around a couple different places, but when it landed here, I just thought it was so perfect. And this is the primary bedroom. And this is also my favorite room. 
This room had a small little door and a small little window, which was such a waste of an amazing view. So I immediately ripped those out, added these doors that fold back. This fabulous peacock chair I found, and it's just such a fun little whimsical piece. This moment here is a wonderful collection as a whole. Everything has come from High Point Market. I've collected all these unique items that marry so well together. It's just so fun to collect things, put them together in an unexpected way. This beautiful string art is from a friend of mine, Don Schweitzer. And the table is a one-of-a-kind vintage old work table. We're going into the guest bedroom. I call this room the Picasso room because a friend of mine's son does this beautiful art and his art is usually very colorful, but he wanted to make this one special to me. So he did it very neutral, which was awesome. I love the texture of these lamps. They look like concrete. The concrete uh, tops on these nightstands with the metal base and the rattan bed sort of makes you feel like you've been taken away while you're staying here. But just because it says dining room on a floor plan doesn't mean it has to be a dining room. This was the dining room, but now is my little media room. So by putting a sofa, the TV in here, it's always a little darker. A designer tip for modernizing your more traditional space would be to take out any crown molding, any molding chair rail, change out your baseboards, you can bring the architecture from one period to another. So now I would love for you to come and see my dark side. Because I would be entertaining down here, mostly in the evening, I felt like why not make it dark and moody and sexy. I found this piece of art at one of my favorite artists at the Antique and Design Center in High Point. Domestic Bliss was actually the perfect piece of art for this phase in my life, and it became the mantra for my home. These great S chairs are all a take from the 70s. Love the texture, I love the juxtaposition of the beautiful modern with the more vintage woven. This is the family room. So these pieces are all convertible modular pieces. So there are five pieces and we can convert it into different seating arrangements. We've had people sleeping here, watching football games on the weekends, having the TV on while we're playing pool or playing games. Just really relaxing and hanging out. The fireplace has this great plaster finish to it, adding to the texture. There was an existing bar here that was very traditional, but I ripped it out. I just needed to modernize it and simplify it, so I did all black. I did a leathered granite countertop. I love how these doors open all the way back. So on a perfect summer day, you have this integrated indoor-outdoor living. So we come out here, have our dinners, perfect screen porch, view of the lake. We love taking naps out on the big giant day bed. The most important thing in designing this home, it's on the lake, so it's all about the water views. So it's, it's integrating the inside and the outside together. And I love blending how like the doors open wide. So you've got this indoor outdoor living. The view to the lake is, is really what it's all about. I was so happy with the end result of the project to be able to have this light, bright, airy space that I envisioned from the very inception of the project very comfy, very livable, very laid back. To have it just continue to evolve and it continues to get better and better.